everyone welcome back to another video on my channel so today i'm going to be doing my own nails um the state of them is awful at the moment i've just took off another set that i've just filmed as well so lots to go up at the moment so basically i'm just going to talk you through what i'm going to be using first and the sort of idea that i'm going for obviously you'll know what they'll look like because you'll have seen the thumbnail but i'm going to be using this which is um pearl fairy mesh from sparkle supplies uk so i'm going to be using this um it gives a really cool i don't really know how to explain it but it's just a really cool effect so i'm going to be using that and then i'm going to be using five different glitters from the glamour collection so we've got paris which is green and then we've got sky which is a beautiful blue then we've got wisteria which is a purple punch pink which is a bright pink and then marigold which is believe it or not a marigold color and i'm also going to be using crystal queen within these as well which is just let me just open this up so you can get a closer look just that type of glitter so my idea is i'm going to do a set of long square nails because like i mentioned in the mini glitter planet haul i'd ordered some tips from glitter planet and basically i just want to use them so that's what we're going to be doing we're going to be using their extra long square pro nail tips um and we're going to do it on those so basically i'm just going to prep i don't really have much prep to do on my nails because like i said i have just took a set off so they're already sort of prepped um so i'm just going to get my nails ready stick the tips on and then we can get started with the set Okay, so just while I'm in the process of actually sticking these tips on, I'm not sure why my phone won't focus on what I'm tapping, which is really frustrating. I just wanted to point out that this on the left is a size 9 and this on the right is a size 10. Look at that huge difference. So my index finger, this one is massive for it and this one is tiny. So I don't understand what is going on with these tips, but my thumb, my thumbnail, which is usually like, I don't know, like a 1 or a 2, is a five in these tips and my pinky finger the 11 i had to cut down short i had to cut down slimmer because it was too much just please ignore the state of my index finger i ruined i ruined that one earlier taking the other ones off but the sizes are just so weird so if anyone's wondering whether i, I recommend these tips it's a big no <laughs> um at the moment just it they're just so strange so i'm really really sorry about the state of this but just look that let's just do it there just so you can see so that is too small because i'm having to really push down to get it to fit both sides and it's too much of a pinch for my nail so i size up and then look at this that goes way over both sides it just oh my god it's so frustrating so i'm going to use the bigger one and just basically narrow it down like taper it a little bit on the sides but i just thought i'd point that out i'm disappointed with that okay i decided against doing my thumb because i don't usually do my thumbs in these types of videos so i don't know why i was going to um my pinky finger is really 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 wonky i mean i'm not sure whether you can tell on camera but it is <laughs> but i'm not doing anything about it because like i said well i don't know if i did or not but i'm not gonna be keeping them on anyway so we'll just deal with it so because i've taken obviously decided to do one nail less i've taken one of the glitters away so i'm not using marigold now i'm using just these four in that order so this will be my index finger this will be my middle ring finger and pinky because we all know that green is not for me <laughs> so we'll have the least of that and then alongside those i'm going to be using tears beauty acrylic in naked and also crystal clear and then obviously the fairy mesh as well so let's get into the set i'm just gonna file these into shape and then we can get going okay i've sorted out the tips i have had to nip off the numbers from the ends and straighten them off so that's why they are slightly shorter now but obviously that's just because i'm going to be using that fairy mesh on the tips of the nails and that, that is why i don't really want anything down there so first of all i'm going to be applying the fairy mesh first just to make sure that, that is on and where i want it um and then i'll be applying naked and then going in with my glitters so i'm just going to open them all up first to make sure everything is close to me ready to be used straight away i always make sure that my glitters are in front of my powders um like my core acrylic and stuff like that because if you've got to put your acrylic on your brush and then go behind it to pick up glitter and then drag your brush back over the glitter you are likely to drop glitter pieces into your core acrylic and obviously we don't want that so i'm also making sure that my iridescent glitter is behind the colored glitters because again i don't want to drip them into it so obviously you could line them all up next to each other but i'm running out of space so i'm just going to keep them like that 
So first things first, before absolutely anything, I always make sure that I've got a clear base down on my nails. I'm not really bothered about the clear base being all over the nails for this set, just because obviously I will just be soaking them off, so it's not a problem. But in terms of a redesign, I do a whole base layer of clear over everywhere. And then next time when it comes to a redesign for a client, or if it is myself, I can file down to that layer and then just go straight in with my next design so i'm using this um today my little crown thing from amazon which is really really cute i just need to get rid of my charger wire because it's going to absolutely drive me mad there we go so again we're going in with our crystal clear layer um and this is from tears beauty so super super easy i'm literally just applying this basically to my nail bed area and just slightly over the um like where the nail tip meets my nail because there will be a slight bump there because I haven't prepped the tips all that well because my nails, as you can see, <laughs> are not in a great a great way at the moment. Um, well, not at the moment. They, they never are, to be fair. I'm really way too hard on them. I've said it a million times before. Do not do as I do, do as I say to my clients because they sometimes can look at my nails and I'm like, no, don't don't look at those. <laughs> Just do what I'm telling you to do to look after your own. Don't worry about mine. So anyway, just covering the nail bed area. It's not overly important for this design in particular to actually do this step um, as in covering my natural nail because the part of the design that is going to be on my natural nail is literally a core powder anyway. Um, so that is a strength powder, which means I don't need the clear as the strength underneath. If I was going to be having... A coloured powder at this end um, that wasn't a strength powder a core then I would definitely need this clear layer but I'm doing it anyway just just why not <laughs> I'm mainly doing it just to cover that dip basically it makes application so much smoother when it comes to applying my core acrylic in this area so first of all we're going in obviously like I said with the pink so I'm just going to pop that over here just so I don't drag it over everything. So first of all, like I said, I'm going to be applying the fairy mesh. So as you all know, I fought with this a lot in the last video that I used it in. I did a video with um, with the greeny, bluey coloured one. I can't remember what colour it was, but it was over some green glitter, I think. It was beautiful and I really, really loved the effect, but it just was a nightmare. A lot of you recommended for me to use glue next time so that is what I'm going to do today I'm just cutting a piece off I will show you in a second when I finish doing that I don't need a lot of it like all over the nail because like I said I am going to be putting some glitter over quite a lot of the nail anyway so there's no point really wasting a lot so I just want it probably about that much oh you can't I've got to try and make it focus now by tapping tapping the screen with my nose <laughs> this is what it's come to so like I said just the tip so just about there so I'm just going to apply my glue to the nail and then hopefully this will work better than it did last time I am using nail mate instant glue this is about the only thing that I actually really love from glitter planet at the moment <laughs> as nice as I can possibly make that sound yeah I've just put it on bit prematurely and I've stuck myself to the bloody mesh just one second bear with me while I peel myself off <laughs> oh. okay I'm just going to apply the glue over the top now in hopes that I can get that flat I've sort of buggered this one up I'm not going to lie but you know it's good to uh, learn from your mistakes and I definitely will because it couldn't have really gone much worse to be honest I'm not going to lie so we've got a bit down here that's not actually stuck. It's it's off the uh, it's off the nail, but I can't actually get the glue in there now. It just keeps sitting on top of the fairy mesh. So that's good. Not. It doesn't help that I keep sticking myself to it as well. That's making it really difficult. <laughs> Obviously, you should be doing this with gloves on, by the way. I am not because I am stupid. 
Okay, fairy mesh part two. That one didn't turn out too bad in the end when I actually got around to doing it properly. It's all right. There's a little bit that's lifted up here, but that's fine. I'm going to file that off at the end. So I did end up um, remembering to get my form paper, basically, to sort it out. So that was fine. So I'm just going to apply the glue again. It doesn't help that I'm using, like, the world's most fast setting glue. So it's set before we've even had a chance to bloody get it on there. So I'm just going to press it on and then grab this and then just hold it for a little bit. I'm not going to hold it for too long because, like I said, this glue dries just stupidly fast. It's insane. And then hopefully, yeah. See, that went much better. So I'm not going to do the rest on camera because that one actually went okay and you can see exactly how I'm doing it. So I'm going to do the other two and then we can come back to the design. Okay, so this is what we're looking like at the moment. I absolutely love the effect that it gives. This might have even been the one that I used in the last video, you know. I just can't remember. No idea. But anyway, so that's what it looks like. What I'm going to do now is I'm just going to very carefully just pop some clear acrylic just down here because for me to be able to apply... Um, my core powder in a faded fashion um, I want it to be nice and smooth and obviously it's probably not going to sit smooth over this so I'm just now applying clear to basically the rest of the nail everywhere that I didn't apply at the beginning because I want my glitter to sit on top of this smoothly as well and that's not going to happen because it's an odd texture so I'm basically just very very thinly encapsulating I'm going to do that on every single nail I'm really hoping that these turn out looking like they do like how I think they're going to you know when you just think that you've had a genius idea and then you go to do it and actually it just looks naff <laughs> and you just think wow if that was me at my most creative we've got problems <laughs> I'm hoping that that isn't one of these that this isn't one of those times because I'd really like them to look how they look in my mind because in my mind they look really good So cross your fingers for me, please. Even though you'll know whether it all planned out or not because you'll have seen the thumbnail by now and probably a photo on Instagram. I obviously don't have a clue how it's going to look yet. So it's all, it's all fun and games for me at the moment. Okay, that's just those encapsulated. Easy peasy. And now I'm going to apply my... I'm going to get rid of this glue first before I end up covering everything in it. I'm going to apply my core acrylic, um, my naked powder. Which sounds really bizarre, but that's what it is. And I'm going to apply that at the cuticle area. But I'm going to start about here. Blend it back. Backwards. I'm not too bothered like I'm not bothered about the actual blend itself because like I said I think I said I'm going to be covering it with um, glitter anyway so it's really not it really doesn't matter it doesn't have to be like the perfect ombre or anything because it is going to be covered up anyway so there's no point spending loads of time getting it perfect just to cover it up so I'm just going to apply a cuticle bead now No, I'm not. I'm going to do smaller beads, actually, because I am using a mega small brush. Okay, and then I'm going to do the cuticle bead, which is just going to be a smaller one. I'm not too bothered about this, um, about the, like, about this one being super opaque, because it's actually pretty good if your actual cuticle bead, like the one at the very cuticle, is a little bit transparent, because then it'll just blend in better with your natural nail even though you're never going to get nails like this to look natural because obviously I mean it'd be nice for your natural nails to grow looking like this but it's not very it's not very uh 
it's clearly not going to happen basically so i'm going to go in now with the glitters that i'm going to be using so first of all i'm just dipping into my clear and then into crystal queen which is the one as you can see is all nice and what's the word um it's like it's like basically I, th I think it's iridescent i think that's the word i'm looking for i'm not 100 percent sure but i'm just basically putting this in like a diagonal way just all over the middle area i'm not sure whether you can see that because it is really fine glitter and obviously it's not like majorly colorful or anything so i'm just bulking up the middle bit with that and then i'm going to go in with my was it punch pink we used or vivid pink i can't remember which one it is but i'm now just going to go in with that and apply that to the middle area just applying some acrylic and then picking up my glitter to place on top it's so hard to stay in focus when you're working with glitters so we're just gonna have that mainly in the middle area then just spread it around a bit so it's more like i don't really want it like a big thick line of where it starts and ends sort of thing i've got a piece hiding under there you can sit there um so once i've got like enough in the middle area that i want i will then go in and just pick up a really small amount and just feather that at the bottom as well leading on to that um fairy mesh as well just to give it more of a faded look rather than full coverage in the middle and then big thick block line he doesn't want to move there we go so just getting a couple of bits further down as well and then i'm going to go over the top with a little dash of crystal queen and then i'm going to leave it like that so that's that nail basically done i just need to encapsulate it so we're going to do that on all four nails but obviously with all different colored glitters so this one again we're doing the exact same thing i'm going in with crystal queen first underneath like that and then over the top of that one we're then swapping the glitter for i think this is wisteria if i'm correct i'm not 100 percent sure now i've said that out loud but i'm pretty sure it's wisteria so again i'm just going to get some clear acrylic place it on the nail where i want the glitter to be and then i can start placing wisteria it is very warm in my room today for once it's usually cold and i'm moaning about dripping acrylic everywhere but today it's actually very warm i've got the heating on for once you can probably hear it working away in the background um so my acrylic's actually drying pretty quick which is a complete opposite of my usual problem it's very difficult to keep up with this room seriously so i am trying to work relatively quicker i will just show you these two like at full like normal speed and then the other two i will speed up because there's nothing for me to tell you how to do basically after I've done the two because you've seen it done twice and I'm doing it the exact same way on all fours and then I will when I've done all four of them I will encapsulate and then we can come back um, and top coat which is going to be really exciting and I can't wait for that <laughs> the best part of acrylic designs 100% that's the only thing i don't like about doing gel polish designs is you don't really get that like big reveal unless it's something that you've had to like encapsulate in a gel and then buff and you've made it dull and then you're going to top coat it but yeah it's sad i like a big reveal it's all scratchy and then it suddenly just gets magical i definitely need to get out more like it's becoming very very apparent <laughs> oh, never mind it's all good Okay, so I'm just going to have a look at this one to see if we've got around the same amount of glitter. I'm just going to get a couple bits again to just 
fill anywhere in. You can come up here. Okay, and then once I've done that again, I'm going in with Crystal Queen. I'm just going to apply that just a little sprinkle over the top. I'm not going too crazy with it because obviously it is still wet and all the glitter I've just spent ages placing exactly where I want it will move if I go too crazy with it. So it's just a little bit, just to give it an extra something. So that's them so far. I really, really like how they're turning out. I'm just going to get one more piece of glitter to go there just because I am really, really picky and that is going to really wind me up. There we go, that's better. So like I said, I'm going to do the other two sped up and then we'll come back when they're capped. Okay, so after moving on to the next nail, I realised I hadn't done the nail bed area for this nail. So I thought I'd just do it now quickly and show you basically how I fix this problem of the fact that I forgot to do it. <laughs> so I'm just going to apply my bead of the core powder that I'm using as my nail bed colour down in the cuticle area. Well, not just the cuticle area, obviously, like that whole area that is supposed to be this colour. And I'm just going to very gently just let it lay on top of the very bottom of the glitter. Get that exactly how I want it first before moving on to the next step. Okay, so when I'm done sorting that out and I've uh, fixed that error, all I'm going to do now is just get a tiny bit of crystal clear. I'm going to go back into my purple and I'm just going to apply the purple now on top of that. Just like that. And basically all you're focusing on is just covering up the ones that are underneath. And that's it. No one will ever know. <laughs> it's an easy mistake to make when you get carried away and get excited about how they're going to look and stuff. Um, I do. I am just going in now with some Crystal Clear and Crystal Queen and just applying some of that Crystal Queen over the top of the nude because that's how it is over here as well. So once I've done that, I can then move back on to the next nail. Just thought I'd nip in and tell you that I did notice that and that is how to fix it. Okay, so I've just finished applying the green. Just wanted to quickly show you what they look like before I cap them. So this is them all beautiful and raw. I love a raw glitter shot. They're absolutely gorgeous, aren't they? So now I am just going to go ahead and apply a little bit of Crystal Queen over this one. It's set a bit more and then I'm going to just encapsulate all of them and then we can come back ready for top coating once I've filed. Okay, I've just finished capping. This is what they look like at the moment. I am so excited to see them 
when they are filed and top coated because I, I have got a feeling I'm praying that they are going to turn out a little bit like they looked in my head which will be really really good if they do so I'm really really happy with them so far um I actually love how the fairy mesh looks underneath the nails as well that's really effective so I'm going to give them a little while to set I'm going to tidy my desk in the process of waiting for them and then I'm going to file them and then we're going to come back and top coat them together I'm so excited okay this is what we look like when we are filed and I've wiped over with acetone I'm now just going to go in and top coat I'm super super excited to see how they look all glossy I hope you are too oh my gosh look love it absolutely love it i love the effect of that fairy mesh it is beautiful i definitely need to get some more colors of that and use the other ones that i've got i have got three all together i definitely need to get around to trying out the other ones I don't think it was this one that I used the last time. I think it was the greeny bluey one. I don't remember what it's called, but I don't think it was this one. So I've now tried two of the three that I've got, which is good. And I now just need to get on the website for Sparkle Supplies UK and see which ones I am missing because I feel like I need them. Because I absolutely love this. I'd like to do a set like this but like the other way around so do a different fairy mesh colour on each nail but have the same coloured glitter on top of it if you see what I mean like literally just do it sort of the same but different if that makes sense I'd love to do that I think that'd look really effective I can't do it at the moment because I've only got three and I'd need four to do this again so I'm definitely going to have a look on the website when I'm finished this and have a look which ones I am missing. Let's see which one would go best with the ones I've got. I am currently waiting on an order actually from Sparkle so I might just be sneaky and message, message Lorraine and see if I can add one on. She's probably sick to death of me messaging her to add things onto my orders. I am a nightmare. <laughs> right so this is what they look like top coated i am in love with them i'm gonna be so so sad to have to take these off i even like the green one which is not like me <laughs> but yeah i absolutely love this set they are beautiful i really like the crystal queen actually um just in these areas and then like a little bit on top as well i think that really makes a difference even though it's super subtle so yeah, I really hope you enjoyed this video. Thank you so, so much for watching. Um, I hope you like how they turned out. And I'll be back soon. Bye.